Hello, today I'm going to talk about eight surprising signs and symptoms of perimenopause. That is when you no longer have a menstrual period, but by definition, they wait till you haven't had one for a year to make sure that you've really had your last one. And then once you've reached that point, you're then postmenopausal. Perimenopause is the time around menopause, so that period of time leading up to menopause. The average age of menopause is 51, but it ranges from 40 to 58, so there's quite a range. Symptoms of perimenopause can be for anywhere from 2 to 10 years before you reach menopause, so there's a fair amount of time there. And most women are way more symptomatic in that perimenopausal period. That's when your hormones are really shifting around a lot. The two most important are estrogen and progesterone. And although we often think that we get the symptoms of menopause because of that low estrogen, in perimenopause, the progesterone drops faster. So we end up with something called estrogen dominance where the estrogen's high. And that actually is what's causing a lot of the symptoms. But it's that shift all over the place that can create that real roller coaster in a lot of women. The most common symptom, before I get into the surprising ones, are hot flashes. About 75% of women in the US will experience hot flashes. And then the chills after the hot flash, some of them will have heart palpitations and anxiety. So these are really, really common. But they're going to be more common as you're a lot closer to menopause. But what are the things you can look out for that might be happening a lot earlier than that? So number one is insomnia. Although some women don't sleep very well and wake up and have an insomnia that's tied together with hot flashes, in other women it won't be linked at all and they're going to have just higher rates of insomnia that are going to start appearing. Number two on the list are irregular periods and often worse PMS. So if you notice that your PMS is getting a lot worse, that's something to keep note of because that might actually be what's going on. Number three on the list are mood disorders. This can happen with PMS, but if you find it's really changing a lot, and especially if your periods are getting irregular, it's less obvious that it's linked to your cycle, and you may not notice that. But your mood being all over the place, being very irritable, that can be another sign. Number four is vaginal dryness. Because of those hormone changes, you can start feeling really different down there. It can be feeling really irritated and itchy as well. Number five is weight gain very, very linked to cortisol levels that change with those other hormone changes. And so the weight mostly happens right around the middle. So that's something a lot of women going through this period of time suddenly really, really struggle with not being able to get rid of that belly weight. Number six is changes in memory. So if you think about for women who've been pregnant and that pregnancy brain and all those changes in how your brain works are linked to hormones, this is another period in life where those hormone changes can really affect how well your brain is working. Number seven on the list are urinary symptoms. So the most common there are women are suddenly going to have some leakage when they're coughing or <coughs> laughing a lot. So that's, uh, that's where that one is coming from. And then the last one, another one that we're not going to be really happy with, are um, changes our sex drive. So if you find your libido is going out the window, that's probably what's going on there too. So stay tuned if you're if you're seeing these things and you think that might be what going what's going on. You can go see somebody, and as well down the road, we'll do another video to give you more ideas of some stuff you could do to help ride out all these changes that are happening in your life. So please leave comments below, hit the like button, subscribe, and this is Lee. Stay happy and healthy. Missed a complete important gap in there, so I'm gonna have to start over. <laughs> That's when your hormones are really shifting off. Uh,